Love is a beautiful thing. Love is that factor and that ingredient for the sake of which we make relationships. Sometimes, actually, love can also be a factor for which we break relationships as well. We get married for the sake of love. We end up making friends for the sake of love. We end up traveling for the sake of love. We get into business partnerships because of love. And sometimes as well, we end up breaking relationships as well because of love. It's very, very powerful. It's an emotion that is very, very strong. And it is also very fulfilling at the same time. All of us are looking for love. Now, the greatest form of love that a human being can have is the love of Allah Rabbul Izzati Wal Jalal. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us in the Quran the ingredient and also the litmus test for the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah tells us in the Quran that say, In kuntum tuhibbun Allah, fattabi'uni yuhibbukum Allah. Say, if you love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then follow me, i.e. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will in turn love you. So if you want the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then follow Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and follow the example of our messenger and that therein you'll find the love of Allah Rabbul Izzati wa Jalal. Now, the interesting thing is that we're searching for love all around us and we don't realize that when we attain the greatest of love and that is the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, all other love becomes easy and attainable. In an authentic hadith, the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he told us, that when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves a slave of his, he calls out to Jibreel and he says to Jibreel, and now these are the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself. He says, I love so and so person. I love that person. Then you also love that person. Jibreel now falls in love with this person and then he calls out in the higher committee and he says, Allah loves Fulan, Allah loves so and so, you all should love him as well. And then they end up loving this individual. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala places acceptance for this individual within the world as well. So if you attain the greatest of love, and that is the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, naturally you end up attaining all other love as well. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allows the heart to love a person whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala lo loves as well. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us his love and grant us the love of those who he loves and those who love him as well. And the ability to act in ways that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves.